All right, guys, I'm here at Natural Pit, formerly known as Captain Nemo in Pennsylvania. It's a beautiful place. It's awesome. I'm not going to do a fish room tour. If you want to watch that, then watch every other fish YouTube channel there is. All right, I'm going to go in and see what they got, and uh, I'll record when I come back. I actually bought, took my uh, Red Texas. Uh, he's not really doing it for me anymore. So, uh, all right, guys, I'll get back with you. two hours later all right that was a good experience i got some good fish man fish i've always wanted so i got some vieja finestratus the marbled version which are really cool sometimes they look like they got beat up i'll show you a picture it looks pretty cool and then um i got five umbies babies they're fry they're about an inch long I figure I got the tanks. I want to build another tank this winter. So that's going to be sweet. All right, let's get these fish inside. All right, here's the box. Let's see what I got. I had to empty that tank so it's all cloudy to catch the Texas to uh, take them to the place. So let's see what I got. Let me get a chair. Fish room is a disaster like always. Oh, check this out. I found Chunk. Uh, he's hiding. I have him a little 10 gallon quarantine. But he is alive, and yes, he did get beat up pretty bad in there. So, I have some. I want to try this food right here because um, my VA house are mostly herbivores, mostly. And I, don't, I run out of vegetable food pretty quick. And I can't find any pellets big enough. And these look huge. So we'll try that. It's a smaller vegetable food. It actually has green peas. Now, let's see what we got in this one. This one is one of the marble finestratus. And he looks extremely dull. He will color up nicely. And you get him floating in the tank. And these are my five umbies. Try not to laugh how big they are. But. Yep. Anyway, I'll get some more when they're in the bag or in the tanks. So let's get them in the tank. So I think I'm going to put the umbies in this um, 40 tall for the quarantine because it's not part of my system. I'll take this little Oscar out because they don't need any harassment. These are going to be awesome fish. They're black umbies. So I want them to grow well in here. I'm going to take out the Oscar. I don't know if I'm going to take out the um, Bicher. I'm not sure. Let's see how it goes. See how big they are. There were so many of them, I, you know, I didn't even see him bag them. I just said, you know, throw me. He threw me an extra one. Pretty nice of them. Or I might put the umbies in this 10 gallon as a quarantine and take a little uh, ID chunk out. Hide them like a wiener. So I got the bag floating in here in this messy tank because I had just, I emptied it and then left so I just filled it back up real quick put some conditioner in started it up see even my other ones I don't let's see I went about six months ago and these finestratus were also at the store the same ones so they've been there for a long time I'm sure they're fine <sighs> I might break the rules as far as quarantine just these two because they're gonna look phenomenal in here. I don't know. They're bigger than a lot of these. So they should be or should be fine as far as getting picked on and they're pretty aggressive. Uh, just don't know. Or I might put them in here for a couple days because this is where my big money fish are. I don't want anything to happen. This, you know, I, I like these fish a lot, but you know. Not big money fish, so I might just put them in here for a week or so. 
see how they are, break the rule of quarantining, but I will quarantine the um, umbies. So let me get back. So I 1000% broke the rules and put them straight in my 350, hoping for the best. It's obviously which ones they are. They're so brightly colored compared to my other ones. They'll darken up after they start being a stress. And now what I think I'm gonna do, probably a good idea is to feed them. Calm everybody down. Keep your mind on something else. Are they actually eating? Let's see if you eat. And he's running around like, what do I do? New tank. Some more. Keep them busy. Right, where you at? Where you at? So once those darken up, they'll look really nice. Probably by tomorrow or a couple days. Oh, he's eating. Awesome. I just put him in the tank. Oh, spit it out. Oh, that's great. Probably not used to that kind of food. Anyway, at least I put two in there and not just one. And they're pretty big. Checking everything out. They were um, pretty dominant in the tank they were in. So they should adapt just fine in here. Once they learn everybody. Argentina chased them, chased them away. All right, new fish. Oh. So I took the Beicher out in the Oscar. Man, these guys are almost a joke how little they are. There's my umbies. They're eating. Little tiny guys. But I have auto water change. I have good water. I have good food. Within no time, they'll be pretty big. But for now, they are little wieners. Well, these are gonna be monsters one day. So, they're gonna be in this 40 for a while, probably. So it's the next morning, and now they have darkened dramatically. Get some better views here. Yeah, that's better. Move the light for a little now you can see how it darkened up and that's not injuries that's molting these are marble finished stratus look how pink that one is holy cow I told you it had a lot of color now once it gets done molting it's gonna look phenomenal but yeah that's nice stuff all right natural pet only known as Captain Nemo. Great fish. They even have African mud skippers. So you might want to check them out if you're near the area. Alright, YouTube. See ya.